It's time for another pro bike, and I have something a little bit different in store today. A retro pro bike, ridden by none other than Francesco Moser when he took the hour world record in the 1980s. I'm going to give you all the specs of the bike, and then a bit of the history behind it. It was 1984 when Francesco Moser and his team of engineers took a radical new approach to beating Eddie Merckx's hour world record. Where Merckx focused on lightweight, Moser and his team of engineers focused on aerodynamics and he was the first rider to use disc wheels as well as a host of other designs that had never been seen before. He even wore a skin suit for his record attempt. First up, the frame and fork with the striking design that was very futuristic for the 1980s. It has those sweeping curves and the seat tube that extends all the way up to the Cella Royale saddle. The frame is constructed from steel using Columbus tubing and you can see those beautiful worlds where the tubes meet. I'm a big fan of the polished finish and the intricate logos and details throughout the frame are just fantastic. The wheels are lenticular discs, constructed from fiberglass, the front is 26 inches and the rear is 28 inches. The reason behind the small front wheel was to help him get into a more aerodynamic body position by lowering the front of the bike. Moser's bike weighed almost double that of Merckx's and the wheels alone weighed approximately 5 kilograms. They acted as giant flywheels went up to speed and were fitted with tubular tyres. These were not any old tubular tires because the casings were made from pure silk. Helping Moser reach the required speeds are 170mm long crank arms fitted with a 53 tooth chainring. Again, not the usual spec. This one has the huge gaps between the bolt interfaces filled in to improve aerodynamics. Moser really was ahead of the curve in many ways. Mounted to the rear lenticular disc is a 13 tooth sprocket, meaning when combined with a 53 tooth chainring, you have a gear ratio of 4.08 to 1 or 108.5 inches. Moser needed to sustain just over 100 RPM for his hour record. At the front of the bike is the quill stem engraved with F Moser along the sides, which runs on a Campagnolo headset. That's a really nice touch. And the bars? Well, they measure 40 centimetres wide. The pedals on the bike are not the originals. They had his shoes fixed onto them for the event and were subsequently removed. Francesco Mozart is 181 centimetres tall and used a saddle height of 79 centimetres. The saddle tip to the centre of the handlebars is 62.5 centimetres and then the saddle to handlebar drop is a whopping 21 centimetres. It's amazing to be able to share such an iconic bike. Let me know your thoughts on this bike in the comments section down below. And remember to hit subscribe to GCN Racing for more pro bikes and more racing action.